second installment of the 12 days of christmas my name is eric and i am so glad to see you all here again you all enjoyed the 12 days of christmas last year it was actually probably the moment uh or, or the theme or, or the 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 thing that pole vaulted my channel a year ago was the 12 days of christmas i saw some of the biggest growth i did a lot of experimentation which i regret that i wasn't able to really kind of play off of over the last year it's been a very hectic year i'll go more into that on my 2019 video for the new year's day but for now let's focus on christmas now what have i bringing you guys this year well i have a whole slew of ideas i think i've got 14 or 15 ideas that i've got planned obviously i don't plan on doing all 15 i'm only going to be doing 12 but i wanted some extras in case I, uh, something uh, becomes too much or something isn't possible to do in the time frame I have to do it in so I have a bunch of different ideas just in case and this is the first one now last year I started off Christmas by asking you the question are you ready for Christmas but now I'm going to figure out if you really know Christmas the naughty and nice Christmas quiz I uh, found this quiz on pro 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 Profs Quiz Maker. Um, it's 25 questions by Deviant. Uh, it was last updated whew, a long time ago. But I found this quiz. It's got five stars. I looked at a couple questions already, the first two, and they're really funny, so I thought I'd go ahead and go with it. So let us start the quiz. So question number one. Where did the Grinch steal Christmas? Now the Grinch, uh, I'm almost, I, I'm positive it's Whoville, but we have the Grinchville, Whatville, and Whoville. I uh, know it's not Grinchville, it's definitely what Whoville. Awesome, super. Correct. Of course it is. I know Christmas. Oh shit, we're timed. We have a five minute timer. Okay, so, what was True Love's gifts on the second day of Christmas? Two turtle doves and a partridge, two calling birds and a partridge, and two nipple clamps and a partridge. Now, this is unfortunate because I've heard it both ways. Four, no, I think it's four calling birds, two French hens, two, three French hens, two... All right, it's turtle doves. I think it's four calling birds, right? Right? I think so. Anyway, next question. How did Harry... What did Harry Potter get for Christmas in his first semester at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry? Did he get Butterbeer when he was eight... When he was, what, fucking 16 years old? 18? No, he was like, what, 16? 14? He was, what, 14 when he... I, oh, God. Harry Potter fans are going to kill me now. An invisibility cloak or cauldron cakes. Now, obviously, everyone knows this man got his invisibility cloak from his father. <sighs> right there. Uh, invisibility cloak, of course. He's too young for butterbeer and cauldron cakes. Just sounds like something that you wouldn't actually want. Why do we kiss into the mistletoe? <laughs> it's because we're single and lonely. And there's a lot of Christmas songs that have a lot of um, negative undertones. And... Um, Mistletoe just kind of fits right in with it. Ah, uh, but no. The question answer is associated with the goddess of love to get a little something, something, and to represent happiness. Now, I'll be honest. I'm not exactly sure with this answer. I'm going to say it represents happiness, but I'm not sure. Nope. It okay. It's associated with the goddess of love. I knew it was one of those two, but hey, it's okay. It's just one question wrong. It's all good. We're going to move right on. What legendary actor narrated the TV special How the Grinch Stole Christmas? Now, I believe... I have absolutely no idea who this is. I don't think it's James Earl Jones, is it? Is it James Earl Jones? I mean, it could be. It's not James... Or is it James Stewart? I'm gonna go James Earl Jones. Fuck! Boris Karloff. Wasn't even an option I was gonna pick. I knew it! I don't know why I picked James Earl Jones. The original Grinch Stole Christmas came out so long ago, there's no way it was James Earl. I, I, I have absolutely no idea why I couldn't come up with that answer there. I have no idea. Next question. Why is O Come All Ye Faithful a Christmas Carol, but Deck the Halls is not? It's not a Christmas carol. Well, no, because... Yeah, why wouldn't it be? I mean, I can understand if you call it a Christmas hymn, but why wouldn't it be a Christmas carol? Um... I guess because a true Christmas carol must have religious uh, thing. Okay, I guess. That makes sense, but... I mean, we still sing Deck the Halls. That doesn't make any sense. It's still a Christmas carol. America, true or false? America has an official... Yes, they do. It's in D.C. Uh, and 
it's a gigantic tree, I believe. Is it in D.C. or in New York? Wow, I really don't know my own. I really don't know. I'm not exactly sure. I think it's in New York. Or it's in D.C. I have no idea. True or false? More diamonds are sold at Christmas time than at Valentine's Day. False. True? Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! How many times is the name Santa Claus used in the night before the night before the zero? He's never used. He's never used in, in the night before Christmas. Um, he's talked about, he's hinted because, you know, he, he comes down the chimney and stuff like that, but he's never actually said Santa Claus. What country started the gift exchange? That would be uh, Greece, right? I oh, Italy. Fuck! I knew it was one of those two. I had heard about that. I knew it was one of those two, but I didn't know which one. I'm running out of time. What was the first artificial tree made of? Feathers, glass, plastic, or silk? I believe it was feathers. Yes, yes it was. Can you imagine that now? Just a gigantic tree of like dove feathers or something, or, or turkey feathers, or, or something like that. A, a gigantic tree of bird feathers? It would be completely comical nowadays. It would become a meme on the internet if you had that happen. Which of the following names is not considered for Tiny Tim's character in A Christmas Carol? Little Larry, Puny Pete, Small Sam, or Wee Willie? I really hope it's not Wee Willie. <laughs> I'm so glad it's not Wee Willie. <laughs> what are hot cockles? <laughs> wow! A Christmas beverage, a Christmas game, a Christmas pastry, or I'm, I'm gonna say a decoration? A Christmas game? Oh boy, I have, a, I have no idea who the hell would play Christmas cockles. Oh boy, running out of time. True or false? Rudolph has antlers. False! Fuck you! How the hell? Oh, because he's a male deer. I'm an idiot. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. According to CNN, in 2008, the gifts for the 12 days of Christmas cost how much? Uh, $200,000. 80, that, that was, that, that, wow, that was dumb. 86,000, I don't know why I went with such a generic number. I didn't think it'd be an exact number. All right, I got, I got a minute to do 10 questions. Let's go. If you're born on Christmas Day, what's your sign? F fuck me, I don't know. Sagittarius? Shit, I didn't know that. What the hell? Who does signs anymore? Ah, at Christmas, what two words are normally pre-printed on gift tags? Merry Christmas to and from, for and from, to and from. There we go. Bing, bang, boom. Gotta go. There are 365 days in the year. What number is Christmas Day? Why would you do this to me? Uh, 358. Shit! Oh yeah, because the first day is the the first is seven days. That was dumb. Oh shit! We've got ah, what are you doing? Kitchen cleanser. Ah, hey, comment. Let's go. Ah, 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 ah. True or false? You best love is Christmas Day. False. Shit. God, it was true. Ah, the largest breast ever recorded. <laughs> what? 28 pounds? 44? Oh, I'm not gonna finish. Fuck it. Ah. Uh... <laughs> that was a 40. All right, we're gonna retake that quiz, and we're gonna fly through the first ones to get to the ones we didn't get to. Okay? We're gonna fly through it. <laughs> and we're back. All right, so I totally did not cheat and get every other answer wrong, uh, correctly going back through this since I just saw the answers. Okay, I did. But I did still get one wrong because I don't know the signs and I wasn't paying attention to that question, so I still got that one wrong. But we're going to continue on. Question number 22. The French tickler was invented... The French what? The French tickler? Tickler? Was invented by whom? A French general, a Tibetan monk, a Napoleon, or, uh, Napoleon, or a dancer in the moon. What the fuck is a French tickler? What is a? I have like four minutes. What is a French tickler? Google. I can't show this. Um. Um. I don't think, I don't think any of this is what it's trying to say. Urban Dictionary. No. No! No! Oh God! Oh God! No! Woman with a butt. Don't Google French tickler, guys. We're just going to move on. Don't Google it. A French general. Don't Google it. I don't care. Tibetan monk. Don't Google French tickler. Don't. Just, just don't. We're, this, this is Christmas. We're having good, wholesome content for Christmas. We're not going to have sexual themes on my channel. Don't Google it. Wait till New Year's and then Google it. The most profitable
What has happened to this quiz? This quiz was supposed to be a nice wholesome thing. I didn't read- I- The most profitable porno film of all time. Deep Throat took in how much money? You see, when I- when I chose this quiz, Naughty or Nice, I didn't think it was gonna get this far. I didn't I didn't see this direction coming. I'm so sorry for my mother and my father and the rest of my family who will watch this video. I'm so sorry for my friends who thought that the Nomad wouldn't stoop to this level. But unfortunately, here we are at a crossroads. So how much money did the most profitable film of all time, Deep Throat, take in? What the fuck? I don't know. Uh, 39 million? A hundred million dollars! Good. Good. What the fuck? What is the highest selling lingerie color in the world? I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume black. White? Okay. I, okay. I, alright, alright, yeah, sure. Who purchases the most corsets? I'm gonna say brides. Merry Christmas, friends. This is gonna be the end of the first day of Christmas. And I really hope this isn't a sign of how the rest of these days are going to go. You've been watching The Nomad. My name is Eric. And I'll see you guys later. And hopefully, I won't be ashamed of myself for that video. Bye-bye. <laughs>